All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we're going to talk about Jim Harbaugh getting his first win as the Chargers head coach, as well as J.K. Dobbins' performance as well. Now, this game did get off to a slow start. Um, the re- the Chargers ended up winning this game 22-10. to But yeah, not, not high scoring. Um Chargers open up the scoring with a field goal, uh, Cameron Dicker from 53 yards out. Then this was really the Raiders' only offense in the game. I mean, they did kick a field goal later, but um, Gardner Minshew uh, threw a pass out to Alexander Madison. He was able to break a tackle and score from 31 yards out. Uh, So that made it 7-3 Raiders, but that was really it. Like I said, other than the field goal late in the game to give them 10 points, the Raiders' offense just really could not get anything going um in the second quarter uh, it was pretty sluggish i mean both teams exchanged punts a couple of times the raiders ended up fumbling um a sack fumble uh by gardner Minshew. chargers turned that into a field goal it was seven to six at the half um raiders punted to start the second half uh the chargers their first drive they kicked the field goal uh, cameron dicker from 24 yards out then the raiders fumbled again uh, Zamir White fumbled. Uh, the Chargers punted. Then the Raiders missed a field goal. And then the Chargers were able to cash in and uh, get a touchdown. Their drive lasted six plays, 61 yards, a little over two minutes of time of possession. Justin Herbert hit Hayden Hurst from 27 yards. Uh, then Joshua Palmer for 11. Gus Edwards had a 10-yard run. And then J.K. Dobbins, his first uh, rushing touchdown of the season uh, from 12 yards out. Uh, so that made it 16-7. to Then the Raiders got a field goal on their next Uh, possession both teams then exchanged punts and then the chargers got another touchdown Uh, jk dobbins a 61 yard run in this drive and then um justin herbert connected with lad mcconkey for a 10 yard touchdown uh, for his first of his nfl career that made it 22 to 10 then the raiders um turned the ball over gardner Minshew. I was trying to hit Alexander Madison and ended up getting picked off. Yeah, I actually got, got deflected up in the air, and, and it was picked off um, by Ford uh, on that play. And, uh, yeah, the Chargers ended up winning the game. Uh, how many sacks did they finish with in this game? They had four sacks in this game. I, I Oh, and I didn't realize Bud Dupree on the Chargers, too. I see him on the box score here. But... You had a sack from Joey Bosa, who actually left the game. He got hurt in this game. Uh, Khalil Mack had um, one and a half sacks in this game. Uh, Morgan Fox had the other half of that sack. Uh, So, yeah, I mean, the Chargers defense did its thing. Um, uh, Puna Ford was the defensive tackle that got the pick uh, late in the game uh, on the pass that was batted up in the air. But I wanted to talk about, well, first of all, I wanted to highlight uh, J.K. Dobbins' performance in this game because, you know, he's he's gone through a lot in his short NFL career. Um, he's dealt with a couple of season-ending injuries, uh, an ACL, and I think last year last year was the Achilles. But um, And he's still only, uh, well, he's 25 years old. Um, you know, they brought him and Gus Edwards in to kind of, you know, be the running backs of this, well, to be the lead running backs of this team. And, um, you know, it, it's been a, a challenging uh, career for J.K. Dobbins. Or, you know, and, and it's just um, to see him go out there and perform like he did. I mean, look at the numbers. Only 10 carries per 135 yards and a touchdown. Um, you, you, you're happy to see that. And you want to see that continue. And, um you know, after the game, uh, Tracy Wolfson spoke with him. Um, and it's kind of funny because, you know, he went up against Jim Harbaugh when Jim Harbaugh was a coach of Michigan and he was a running back at Ohio State. And now they're on the same team. So they talked about that dynamic. So that that was that was funny, um, you know, to hear about that and how things change. Um, I mean, I don't think J.K. Dobbins is going to be doing this every week. But, you know, you got to be encouraged by that. And... The Chargers, they ran the ball for 176 yards and a touchdown. So, you know, they they want to run the football. And Justin Herbert, you know, only finished 
17 of 26 for 144 yards and a touchdown. Didn't have to be great in this game. Um, you know, Lad McConkey ended up finishing as their leading receiver, five receptions for 39 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Quinn Johnson had three receptions for 38 yards. Joshua Palmer actually got ejected from this game. Uh, there was a fight. Uh, he only had two receptions for 15 yards. Hayden Hurst had that 27-yard reception in this game. But, you know, I mean, I know it's one game, but, you know, you got to like what you see. I, I said that the Chargers would be a competitive team this year. I said nine wins, and they got off to a good start. And then as for the Raiders, uh, Gardner Minshew was not great in this game. Um, went 25 of 33 for 257 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Raiders only ran the ball for 71 yards. Jacoby Myers was their leading receiver. He had three receptions for 61 yards. Devontae Adams had five receptions for 59 yards. I'm really curious to see if they end up trading Devontae Adams because there are a few teams that could use his services. And look, one of the reasons why he wanted to go to... Vegas was to play with Derek Carr. Well, Derek Carr's not there anymore. Last year he had Garoppolo, then Aiden O'Connell. Now he's got Gardner Minshew. And Minshew played well last year, but wasn't great here. And, you know, who knows if, if Minshew, you know, makes it through the whole season. You know, it, it could be Aiden O'Connell at, at one point. So we'll see what happens. I mean, again, it's only one game. And, you know, like I've been saying, you don't want to overreact to... Um, you, you don't want to overreact to just one game. Now, we'll talk about a team later in the show that, yeah, I'm going to react to the one game or, or overreact to the, the game that they had because it, it's it's justified. But, you know, for the Raiders, um, I, don't, I don't want to overreact just yet. Now, they do play the Ravens next week, so it doesn't get any easier. Back-to-back uh, -back hardballs uh, to open up the season, it's not great. You know, and the Ravens are a team that has Super Bowl aspirations. You know, for the Chargers, they're just trying to show improvement. And they definitely showed that on Sunday. Um, you know, I'm curious to see, you know, how this offense will look when Justin Herbert does have a monster game. Um, you know, with the running, if the running game is like that, and Justin Herbert has a big game, and hopefully he builds a rapport with these receivers... You know, how is that offense going to look? And can the defense continue to play like it did on Sunday? Because that was a, we a big weakness of the team last year was the defense. The defense was not good. But Harbaugh, I think, already is starting to change the culture there. And, I, I you know, I, look, the Chargers, could they be a wild card team? I, I really do think so. But it's very early, and let's see what they do now next week. Uh, they take well. They take on the Panthers next week, and the Panthers had a very bad week too. So, you know, the Chargers, you know, they could be looking at two and zero. Oh. So, and like I said, I had them at nine wins. So, you know, that would get them off to a good start. Now that game is in Carolina, um, and you know, let's see. I mean, if the Panthers don't put, play well in that game in their home opener, you know, that's really bad uh, because already, I mean. It looked like they looked like the same team from last year, uh, if not worse, the way they played against the Saints on Sunday. Uh, so yeah, the Chargers. I like their chances to win next week. And then as for the Raiders, like I said, they play the Ravens. So yeah, right now they're looking at 0-2. Um, now Gardner Minshew did go on the road last year and beat the Ravens as a member of the Colts. So. You know, who knows? Maybe he could do it again. Um, but, yeah, uh, Chargers get their first win, Harbaugh's first win as their head coach. Again, uh, you know, happy for J.K. Dobbins, the performance that he had. Hope he continues that throughout the season and stays healthy. And then as for the Raiders, got to pick up the pieces and move on and, you know, live to fight another day. And, look, it's against the Ravens, so it doesn't get any easier. But, you know, uh, maybe um, – like I said, maybe Minshew could pull off another uh, miracle like he did last year uh, when they went against the Ravens at Baltimore. And so we'll see. But let me know what you guys think about this game. What were uh, some of your takeaways from it? Uh, let me know in the comments. So we're going to take another break. And then when we come back, we will talk about the duel between 
C.J. Stroud and Anthony Richardson. This was one of the best games of the weekend. So we'll get into that conversation when we return from our next break. So with that being said, stick around. And we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 